Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Gloomhaven the Guildmaster campaign. Today we're doing a little bit of a change up here because both Craghart and the Mind Thief are going to level up to 6 and they have a boss that they can hunt down once they reach level 6 together. So I'm going to play this just a two player game with the Cragheart and the Mind Thief and take on this boss with just the two of them. I didn't really want to bring in a third or fourth mercenary for this. I figured when they're, you know, we're reaching level six, their personal quests are coming to a close. I feel like they should tackle that by themselves. And it'd be interesting to see how they work together alone. Anyway, I haven't done too many duo combinations. I typically played with um, three and four mercenaries at a time. Where two mercenaries were, you know, just me playing with somebody else. So I kind of want to just try this out. Maybe I'll do some more duo combinations in the in the future. Um, but in this case, I think it, it kind of fits with the story anyway. So they've reached their personal quest together. Let's do this together. But first we need to level them up. And then we also have some things to unlock in the trainer, I believe. Let's do that quick. Well, there it is. I, I think I forgot about that. <laughs> so this comes to a surprise. Any relics? Kills? No. So, I am going to just unlock this now. No. No, I'm not. It's like, forget it. I'll, I'll do that next episode. And we will take a look at the... Um, the tribal or angry face mercenary in the next episode. I'd also like to un unlock the Cthulhu... So we need five more poisons. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that with these two. Okay, well, I'll be able to get a little bit closer with the poison dagger here. And as for you, it's not looking good. But we can purchase a small item. So let me jump over to here real quick. I think that's going to be it everything else is covered except for her head so let's try and find a small item for her uh, there's not many choices here are there there's a healing potion or uh, yeah a healing potion here that the scoundrel had left over Uh, I mean, there are other choices here as well. I just want to... I don't want to spend too much money on just switching stuff around from time to time. And we will be unbinding all of this stuff very soon as well. Because the Cragheart and the Mind Thief will both be um, retired. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really see many things here. She already has... Oops, a stamina potion and a healing potion. So we could just buy another one of these power potions. I think that's all right. Let's do it. It would actually go pretty well for her because she has that mass hysteria. And um, that's a attack one at range four, targeting four, I believe. We'll take a look here in a moment. But now... We are, oops, ready to level them up. Cragheart first, level six. Create one stun, uh, one two damage stun trap and an adjacent empty hex. Muddle target all adjacent enemies. Dig pit, right. Or And then the other one is move two, go invisible. So if we can both go invisible, that's pretty cool. Because the Mind Thief does have ways of going invisible. 
but this uh, create one two damage stun trap in an adjacent empty hex. Um, yeah, this is pretty nice. The fact that it doesn't burn either on both the top or bottom is really strong. The other is Cataclysm. Attack four. And I believe this attack four goes with this, right? So attack four in this formation. If we consume earth, we make it attack six in that formation. Immobilize all allies and enemies in the targeted area. That is pretty ridiculous. It is an earlier compared to, uh, well, relative for, for the crag card, of course, an earlier initiative with a move three potentially a move six if consuming earth again now in this case i'm gonna go with dig pit because i feel like going invisible is going to be really fun to do um it doesn't burn we can create some traps maybe use the traps to our advantage things like that so let's go for dig pit now, which card is this going to is this going to replace? Is a very good question. A very good question. We could replace Avalanche at this time. Now, it the ability to create obstacles is great. Don't get me wrong. But. If there are obstacles, we can use those obstacles as well. So we can, it, it's it's nice to be able to replace some that we break and then we can use more obstacles. It's also nice if there are zero obstacles, which is pretty rare, but it happens. Um, but the other part is that this is one that infuses earth. So something that maybe doesn't consume earth or infuse earth would be a good one to to replace and it's looking like all of them i'm just gonna i kind of want to get rid of that but another one is earth and clod i could get rid of earth and clod No. Okay, I think I'm going to drop Avalanche and bring in Dig Pit. I think that's what I'm going to go for here. Let's go for, whoops, the uh, perk point. And uh, Verdant might be a good one to bring in because it's... Um, It's another way to infuse. I just dropped a card that does infuse, so this might help. Maybe it won't. Uh, what would be another? And this immobilize would be a good one because he has a lot of those range attacks anyway. Um, let's go for the hobble. A plus one with immobilize is going to help out. All right, mind thief. Level six, attack one poison, attack one muddle. Well, this is going to be pretty nice for that, that uh, poison that I'm trying to go for. So I might actually take this for this reason. Move four, jump, poison, target all enemies, move through. Wow. But I'm seeing darkness here. And this makes me think that this other card is one that's pretty powerful. Yes, it is exactly the card I was thinking of. Um, I have never taken Corrupting Embrace because Dark Frenzy is just so strong. Attack 2, plus 2 if consuming ice, and another plus 2 if consuming darkness. So this is an attack 6 that does not burn. Or the move 3 and then perform a range attack 3 at range 3, uh, infusing ice and so on. Um, this, this is what I kind of use this card for a lot. Move three, make a range attack, and then 
I'll be able to do something like this. So move, range attack another uh, enemy, and then use, uh, bring in an augment. Or I could, um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, this is the one I was talking about before. I don't know, I mean, I could do Frigid Apparition, which would then, which would consume ice, so I could consume ice and then bring ice back in immediately. This Dark Frenzy is one that I, I tend to use all the time. And I'm trying to think here. Okay, so Bre Brain Leech does bring in um, Darkness. The problem is needing, you need, you, well, you don't need, but Dark Frenzy with Darkness is a very strong combination. And there's no other, well, okay, there's Darkness here. I think the loot in Into the Night does bring in Darkness as well. But because I've taken Dark Frenzy so many times, you guessed it, I'm taking the other card, Corrupting Embrace. Now, this is still a great card. Attack one, attack one. So with something like this, the augments, you would have attack three, attack three. Not many abilities do something like that. Feedback loop, attack one, shield, attack one, shield. And then you can use mind's weakness, attack one, wound, shield again. So you would have three shield in a combination like that. Uh, we could also go for a bunch of healing if we need to heal. Um, this one, I guess this Corrupting Embrace is probably a good one to replace Withering Claw because of the... Um, uh, because it's a Muddle Poison, you see, whereas this is Poison and then Muddle. Um, yeah. Hmm. But to replace something now is... I wouldn't want to replace any of my augments. Although I could see replacing this one. I just don't really want to replace it because I like the ability to push. Um, and pushing all adjacent enemies is pretty great. Particularly if you're if you're next to a bunch of um, traps, and we don't want to get rid of into the night because this is a good one to attack, attack, and then go like invisible, for instance. All right, so I'm making my choice here with feedback loop is what I'm replacing it with. Now this might be a mistake, but this is this is just a test, right? Um, I think I'm going to drop feedback loop. I don't need the mind thief to be a tank. It's just, it's a nice option for the mind thief to tank, to shield up and tank a few hits, right? With the crag heart, we don't really need to worry about that too much. So we can be a bit more sneaky with the mind thief. So I'm going to drop feedback loop. And in this case, it, it's, be, it's bringing in a move for jump. And in this one, move for jump. In this case, I don't need to land in the same space for this to be effective, where this one I did. Now, I almost always use it as just a jump uh, ability with move four attached to it. And the muddling all, like if you end in the movement in the same hex you started in, perform muddle. Uh, target all enemies move through. I never really, well, okay, I use it sometimes, but it's not a huge one that I feel like, okay, I, I need to keep this around. I mostly keep it around for this top ability. But because I'm bringing in another move forward with jump, I might as well drop the other move forward with jump. This one is a bit stronger in my opinion, and the top ability I'll still be able to use with Mind's Weakness or um, silent scream. All right, so that's what we're gonna go for. Last is her, uh, the Mind Thief's perk point. I 
bludgeon could be a good one to bring in hamstring mm. I mean adding another plus two is always pretty great but I think I want to go for some uh, disarm and muddle or bludgeon let's go for bludgeon when it when it pops up it'll be helpful and it's another it's another stun all right that's enough time i mean i i, I felt like i i'd have enough time because this scenario with just two players or two is probably going to be more um i don't want to say too more fast it's not going to be faster but it might be something that's that's uh, easier because we only have two characters. There's not going to be as many um, enemies. So anyway, the Shrine of Ashes. All evidence leads to the bandit commander being at the Shrine of the Ashes. Uh, take time, uh, time to take him down. Objective, kill all enemies in all rooms. Lose if the mind thief or Cragheart is exhausted. All undead heal. All undead. Living bones, bone rangers, living corpse, living uh, spirit. Heal one at the end of each turn. So once we start hitting them, we need to continue hitting them. It's interesting, but... All right, let's 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 see if I can take this down with just the two. You first head to the shipping company in Wildspire, where a bothersome clerk was initially reticent to receive the customer who used their shipping crates. However, after a third of their stock was suddenly pounded to dust, he unsurprisingly changed his mind. The location he gives you is a cave out of town, deep in the forest. You head there immediately, hoping to catch the bandit commander before he has a chance to clear the shrine and move on. As you reach a rocky outcropping, you hear the loud and brash arguments of bandits. This must be the Temple of Ashes. All right, let's go. Lug crates here. Lug crates there. I thought bandit life might be a bit more exciting. You mean you'd rather be in a cave with those things? You have a point. Wait a minute. Who's there? You've been spotted. Time to attack. All right. Well, I think they, uh, they're about to get about to have some fun compared to whatever's going on in here. So yeah, we only, we have, okay, it's not only, but it's five enemies out here. Um, only one of them is going to be an elite. So we need to deal with that pretty quickly. And then these two will be kind of annoying. They are still level threes, so they can hit pretty hard, but they're not elites at least. Um, these traps are five damage each there's only the two okay okay well round one let's see let's see how this goes and first turn or first round we have uh mind thief going first at 12 with mass hysteria and into the night so from here, she'll just be able to attack four and then into the night to go invisible. I'm not entirely sure if that's really, I mean, I, I thought here is to bring in ice. That's kind of one thing that I wanted to do, but I didn't want her to kind of take the brunt of the attacks. So into the night as well, um, because the Cragheart is going to dig a pit and kinetic assault. So he'll be able to move three move two move one where he's going to go invisible and make an attack of four so like one two three attack here kind of a thing um 
I'm not sure who that attack is going to be on. I, c I was also thinking of moving up here. But, uh, yeah. Let's, let's see how this goes. And then we can wait a full round, next round, and just go late. Ah, yuck. Okay, well, sh they're putting out more traps, so that's something. But they're going later, so that's good. And I could use the minor power potion, but I think I'd rather use that once we get inside. So we're going to attack here, here, here. Darn, but okay. At least it's gone. Good. That's a good hit. Not so much. Alright. And we could have gone a lot better than that. I was really hoping to pull some plus twos there. But I pulled all of my negatives. Well, I okay. All two of them. And uh, nothing really else too great. But anyway, we'll be able to go invisible here. Okay, they're not going to... At least they're not going to make him um, immobilized. But more traps, please. I love it. Good. No damage. It's a good start. So I don't really need to go invisible now. Because if I move over here, I guess this one would be able to, to get all the way over. But I can't make it that far anyway. Um, oh, that's right. I do have this. So I can get pretty far. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Let's use that. Firm. And I'm going to use this to move one more. And I'm going to use my Mask of Terror to attack this brigand or uh, bandit guard and then push him into this trap. That'll be one trap down. Uh, maybe I should have stayed where I was standing and then pushed him into this trap, but this will be this will be fine. Okay. Well, you're dead anyway. So, I didn't use any traps. We have plenty more to go. Super. It's not bad at all. Uh, I think I might actually just do this with, like, looking at the uh, cards on camera rather than pausing because I might do it from time to time, but um, since this might be a shorter video anyway, I'll just I'll just go through one at a time. So I, I'd like to push, right? Silent Scream will be able to push three. So I could go one, two, three, and that would deal 10 damage to kill this Bandit Guard Elite immediately. And that would be a move three. So one, two, three. Yeah, that looks good, and we'll go late. And I'm thinking of going... Well, I can go a little bit later, but mine's weakness, so I can get this uh, this out. So I can move up to here, push to kill him, and then start using mine's weakness augment to deal a bit more damage um, in her attacks. Then we want to go late as well here. So let's do something like this. And now this is going to bring in earth, so I don't want to do another that has earth. But I'm thinking of using this range attack 
like on you and then pull to kill you into this trap. So something, it doesn't have to be early either, I guess. Uh, I don't want to use that, and I don't want to use that. So let's use clear the way. I don't have any obstacles, and of course, I dropped the uh, avalanche and was talking about how it's rare that there's not any obstacles. There's no obstacles. So this way, it'll be it'll be a card I can use, and I don't really care too much about. So they're all going early. That's great. Skip, skip, skip. So we'll use... Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. But that's also good to know. Um, I will use ice. Consume ice when I get over here. And consume ice to push... Confirm that target to go right through all those traps. Fantastic. Uh, target all enemies. No, nope, I'll skip you. Again, I'm not sure if you're able to do that. I think you either have to target all enemies or you target zero. I'm not sure. We'll target you. Yeah, sure, we'll use poison. Good work. That should uh, deal some good damage for next round. And now for the Kragheart, we'll use this with Hooked Chain. And confirm that attack. Great. Basically anything except for a miss will pull you right into there to kill you. Good work. I'd like to pick up some of this gold, but I'm not too... Um... Actually, yeah, let's pick up some of it, right? Good. Round three. So we've only really had one or two attacks, and um, we've mitigated one of them. So we've taken zero damage, and it's round three. So we're doing all right. Now we want to skirt back here for a push with the Mask of Terror, and that should kill her. So we want to go early, and then it does not matter what we use here. So we'll use Heaving Swing because we don't have any... Yeah, we'll use Heaving Swing because we don't have any... Um anywhere to push into uh yeah we'll just do it that way and as for you i could use perverse edge to stun That will bring in ice, and then, hmm, we can just use Wretched Creature, I guess, to do like a, a, a punch as well. Let's do it that way. Good, we're going to be going early, so we can move away if we want to, uh, but since we're going to be stunning, it doesn't really matter, and that's not big of a deal. So, stun you first. Another miss on this one target. You, you gotta be kidding me. And we did not kill it. Him. Him. Alright, that's fine. Now, let's... As I said, we'll skirt around here. We're going to use this, and we might as well, whatever, just click on this. It doesn't really matter. Okay, times two. Thanks. So, I yeah, I'm not going to be focusing too heavily on picking up a lot of gold here. 
Um, but you're not stunned anymore, so I'd like for you... One, two, three, four, five. You're pretty far away, but I could do something like this. Yeah, we'll go like that. And you, we can use five to punch. And I'll use Frigid Apparition. Why not? We'll grab some. I mean, you're probably dead here. Yeah. That does give an extra um, experience. There we go. Now, the question is, do we open the door now? Because <laughs> we have one more turn. And what we could do is go invisible. We could go invisible and then try to grab like a, what would be a good card? We could use the stamina potion to grab a card after that. I'm not sure which card that would be. Maybe something late, right? So wretched creature or silent scream, maybe for a push. Or I just say no, and one, two, three, four, five, and we just kind of like get ready to open the door next turn. And then we could even go in invisible, and um, yeah, I think I, I like this idea. We can go invisible next turn while we open the door, and then she, she can just take a long rest to get back the uh, poison dagger, um, you know. I like it. As for you, let's use this. This should bring in Earth. And Crater will skip. Okay, good. Now let's open this door. We'll go in with this. We could use this to start poisoning some of the enemies. And we can use the boots. And we can go invisible. Empathetic Assault. We probably won't use it. But yeah. Then for you, we should probably go in late. And we can use something like mobilize. Hmm. I'm thinking here that what we could do is, I mean, 53 is not that late. Uh, but what's in this room might go later than 53. So what I could do is grab this and stone pummel. And if enemies do end up making it in here, we could use, you know, this plus this would be an attack five. That could be pretty cool. And we can just long rest anyway, because we have the splint mail. We do have the steel ring. We have a healing potion. Uh, so I think I'll go with that. Ah, but we need enemies to be going earlier. So we want to be going as late as possible. And if this doesn't work, we can always just, you know, like move to... And possibly attack. Or we could just hang back here. Let's, let's do it this way. So we will run in with this. Let's see, I don't know if I want to use my boots yet. Let's open that door. There's our, there's our guy there. A rock man and his rat friend. You must be the two who have been hampering my operations. Well, you are just in time to witness my successful research of necromancy. 
raised from the ashes of your own temple. My advice, take him down as quickly as possible. He'll be able to summon a lot of demons, enemies otherwise. All right. I also sense that the temple itself heals the undead. Be careful. I forgot about that. Okay, this guy is going to summon living bones. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy's going to be summoning living bones. And I, I want to say he can do a couple other things. He's immune to immobilize, stun, and curse. Yeah, I don't I don't think he can bring in living corpses. And I'm not entirely sure about living spirits. Let's see here. If I do this, then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Darn. That's not I need to land somewhere else. And do waypoint. What if I did this? Oh, that's right. I've already used this. I was thinking maybe I could switch, but I've already used it. So, okay. We could go here to here. These two would be. Oh, they're going to heal. So the poison doesn't matter. Who, what would be a good target to go for here? If I went all the way over here, I wouldn't be poisoning anything. Then I could attack for two plus my two from mine's weakness would be an attack of four. This... Uh, it's going to be tough because we need to kill you because you, you're kind of annoying and you have shield. You're going to be pretty, you're going to be hitting kind of hard. What are you doing? Targeting one. So one, two, three. You're going to move one. You're going to move one. You're going to move three. Attack five at range three. Wow. One, two, three. But you're not going to be able to see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So as long as Fragheart stands here, you're fine. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. I think what we need to do is make sure that the living bones is poisoned because that one's really going to be the only one 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 two three so it's going to stand here or here so the crag heart ah oh, it's too late though yeah all of this is too late uh, okay well i don't want to get too ahead of myself here so i think i'll do this So both of them are poisoned. Let's do an attack here. Try and take you out quick. Of course I pulled a minus one, you jerk. Come on. And we have to go invisible. Yeah, I don't know about this. It's uh it's not looking good. One, two, three. So I I can't. I can't even stand here because then I'll be attacked twice. And then this one is one, two, three, one, two, three. So that one still won't reach. I'll move over here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
I'll at least get moving at least that's that's kind of my thought here What was that? Oh, it's healing? At least that poison keeps it from healing too much. So poison seems like it's going to be pretty important. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, long rest here. That will give me my boots and the poison dagger. You can at least be poisoned. And apparently you can also be wounded. Okay. Uh, let's take a... This is going to be painful because he's going to be stuck here. You're going to go there and then you're done. You're done for. So, but long rest... Wow. Okay, there's no there's no ice. But that is painful. Oh, you couldn't couldn't see me? Strange. Yep. That's nice. Oh, good. You're not even moving. Hmm. Okay, well. Heal. I guess I shouldn't have used that, because I could heal. Ah. Uh, we need Dig Pit. This is pretty important in this kind of a case. Um. And. Okay, we have obstacle here are they single hex or double hex it looks like it could be a double hex it'd be nice if i could say like if it said single obstacle or double ops i'm not sure there there should be i'd like for it to do something to show us but no obstacles here at all so that one's probably gone I think so. It is an early card and it's a move four, but the top card is just it's just kinda useless here, so we'll we'll get rid of it here. As for you Cranium Overload might be one that I, I'd like to use on something like one of you. That'd actually be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. You can't be stunned. No, okay. I'm thinking Silent Scream. Ooh! Ah! I need to put this back in here. I don't want to say Silent Scream, but I don't know of another one. Because I'm probably going to bring in that giant rat. It's We need something to deal some extra damage. Alright, Silent Scream. There's no traps. There's no... Um... Yeah. So I'm not I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, round seven. The bandits were, were pretty easy, right? Now we're, we're on to something else. Okay. Rumbling Advance, I think, and Stone Pummel to really hit all of these hard. That would deal one damage for each. And... And bring in earth this one will allow me to attack all three of these so I think that's a good one uh, as for the mind thief we need to go early 
I almost want to just use Cranium Overload to kill this one so that I can do an attack 2 on all of those. And then I can use Perverse Edge to stun somebody else. Or I can use Corrupting Embrace for Poison and Muddle. And that would be, you know, attack three, attack three. If I could poison you earlier, then that would be negating one shield, basically. And then we can deal a lot more damage that way. And then the poison would be healed, and we don't have to worry about uh, it healing its damage back. Because we we need to be killing... I know this is going to be bringing in new ones, new at least new some... Um, living bones but if we if we can take these out faster then we can really start hitting hard on the uh, bandit commander ooh okay so we can poison you so that is a, a necessary thing And go back invisible again. So let's kill this and then go invisible. Okay. What are you doing? You're moving four and attack four. So one, two, three, four. I don't have to worry about your attack this turn. That's good. And then they're going to move four or move one. So I don't have to worry about that either. Maybe I should have tried to go invisible with you too. Uh, let's kill you. Now this is going to be at disadvantage, isn't it? Because it's a ranged attack. So both of these are going to be at disadvantage, but I don't see another way. Yeah, they're muddled. Okay, that's, that's fine. Good, okay, I pulled a plus two on you. I pulled a plus two on you. Somehow that actually worked out pretty well. And then go invisible. Uh, I might bring this Ben back in. I think that's a good idea. So I can stay invisible. Okay. Let's use this here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Confirm. Skip. Confirm. So we're getting close here. Oh man. And no, clear. Attack there. We definitely want that extra power potion. Okay. We're hoping for some plus ones here. Oh. Okay. I mean, I killed two. Two of the most important ones. Those are dead. You're muddled, so that's a bit better. You're gonna move one. You're gonna move one, two, three, four. So both of those attacks are um, not happening, and then you're just gonna start moving. That was huge. Very important. And that's only one. Yeah. We can mitigate that one down to one. Or down by one. Ah, that's right. You are going to heal, but I'm very, I'm, I don't care too much about you. Um, I need to kill you and I need you dead quick. And we need to figure out a way to kind of 
if I can, you know, surround you because there's this loot here. I don't want to pick up this loot yet because if I do, then it's going to allow him to um, summon into those spaces. So at the moment, this is not empty. This is not empty. These are empty. So I need a way to cover those. What I can do is something like put a stun trap there. That could be cool. Uh, that is a top though. It can be muddled. So I, I need to kind of move in and then place the trap. And we need to keep him surrounded. Now, the other thing that could happen, of course, is this living corpse just moves away. It's not going to want to stand here. It's probably going to move this way or this way. Um, but if I keep him there, that'll be even better. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. Of course, the other thing is it doesn't show the initiative, does it? No, it does not. It's the initiative for the... Um, uh, for the bandit commander to summon in living bones could be earlier than 19, and I think it is so yeah let's let's go with this anyway and I'll find out the best way to um, to use it let's let's see how it goes as for the mind thief we we need to oh well, I could use this to stun that might be a good thing to do and then for the top I think I want to go for this And then we can poison with attack two or attack one plus two that would be attack three and then po with the poison already on that would be an attack of one plus two plus one for the poison so let's do that and then we'll stun you okay and uh, so he's not he's going to walk away first that's fine that just means I'm not going to um, to go do what I want to do. I can do something else. Like I could go invisible, for instance. <laughs> uh, they're going to heal. It's going to not do anything because you'll be stunned. Okay, so let's let's stun you. Oh man, that times two would have been really nice for down here, but okay. Now we're going to attack you. I'm not going to use Poison Dagger, of course. I'm already poisoning. Where's my plus twos, boy? Or girl? There it is. A plus one and a plus two. And you're muddled. Yeah, I don't care about you. It's kind of a shame over here you're going to heal two, but, um... And then you're going to heal another one? Of course. Of course you are. So in this case, I think I'm going to do this. And then go invisible. <laughs> Maybe. Um, this way... He's probably going to step here or here to attack the Mind Thief, and that's fine. Well, whoops. Undo Waypoint. No, undo Boots of Striding, because I don't need that. Um, and what I could do is move... What I could do is move here first, push him to there, and then go here to go invisible and that will that will make it like we'll we'll be able to control him a little bit better i think i'll do that so let's move here i'm gonna use this 
Whoops. And hit you. Come on, times two. I mean, that would be nice, but... I don't like the, the push. So I'm just going to confirm this push. And then skip that push. All right. Because I just, I, I don't want to, I mean, I could force him way into this corner, but that's going to take a long time, of course. Now I'm going to use this. And I'm going to place you right there. So now you are going to attack here. And that's fine. It's just one and you aren't going to move. That's my, that's my major thought there. Wow, that times two would have sucked. I think it sucks that they heal after they've uh, been stunned, but it makes sense. It's at the end of the turn, so it's not, it's not necessarily bad. Okay, down to 10 health, we're, we're doing it. This is actually, I mean, we're, we're doing it here. Now would be a really good time for some, uh, uh, the avalanche, placing an obstacle here and here, and we don't have to worry about him bringing anything in. Uh, we need to be going as early as possible. And... I'm going to do this because it's because of the attack three but plus the two from here he's not going to be able to get stunned or to be stunned but i'll at least I'm, i'll i'll check it anyway maybe i'll still get an xp out of it um and i'll be able to heal so one two three Ooh. okay it is a move three one two three stand here punch for three plus two plus one because of the poison so that's six and we need you to go kind of late i'm thinking late yeah let's go with this no yeah this and this Actually, I want to see if clear the way is going to work. Let's see if clear the way will allow me to pick this one up. Because if it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, then so be it. Okay. Yeah, summon living bones 14. But it's okay because it's not going to happen. We have loot loot obstacle or you know crag heart and now oh you know what i could have done is punched you first <laughs> but you're not moving anyway so that's cool uh, confirm action yep i still want to pick up some of this loot of course let's do this I want to see if it works. And I'm going to use this anyway. Sure, why not? What? I, 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 I did. I did get the experience out of it. But you can see what just happened, right? There is nowhere for it to stand or to be summoned into, so I blocked it, right? Okay, now. I'm going to move to here. Yeah, see, that is, that's really unfortunate. Um, I know that it could be a double but there are times when it's a single, like two singles next to each other. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. 
Uh, well, what we can do is punch, push you right into that space, and if he tries to do it again, then then uh, he won't be able to. Okay. End your turn. And your healing. <laughs> Round 10. Let's go as fast as possible. Let's use this to attack everybody. And I think I'm just going to use Wretched Creature so that I can uh, move away first. I don't want to attack at disadvantage. And this is just in case. We'll go as early as possible. Yeah, he's doing it again at 11, too. Wow. But he can't. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. All right. Let's use this. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. I want to pick this up and then I can attack all of them. I still have to kill everybody. It doesn't, it's not over as soon as he's dead. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four. Ah. Uh -huh. One and one. Okay, it's better there than anywhere else. There we go. Oh man, I uh, I couldn't find the button fast enough. Okay. Uh, don't, I mean, yeah, don't worry about healing now. Ooh, you guys are going to be attacking quite a bit. Um, man, I wish I would have taken Forceful Storm right now, because then I could have attacked all three of them, but uh, this is fine. Let's attack you. Cool. So they'll heal whatever I just did, but at least, at least there's something there. Uh, and we'll heal ourselves. Ow. Mitigated. <laughs> Mitigated. Everyone being um, muddled is, is going to help out a lot, as you can see. Now we need to heal up. Alright, well, forceful swing, heaving swing into the night. We're going to take a short rest real quick. Because that's fine. I need to go into the night. Um, hmm. Or I could do this done and this done. So I'll do that instead. Oh, now I don't even want to stun you, so that's good. I'll stun you in instead, then. Stun you over here. Great. Damage. And we'll stun you as well. And let's, um... Yeah, let's go for the poison dagger. Oh, boy. That was a whole lot of stuff there. You're stunned twice. Yeah, we can heal up. We want this guy, big guy here, to just suffer some damage. So we don't have to deal with him now. 
Uh, this is for ranged attacks and this is for melee attacks. So let's do it that way. And then I can attack five with a bunch of push. And earth and push and wow. Okay, now we need to get down here and loot all of this. This is a lot of money. Yep. And it just got rid of the poison, which is good. That takes the damage and then healed the damage. Great. Uh, we'll take a short rest. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't even care what it is. Let's, um... Let's go for this, and which one was it? Forceful Storm, so that we can move one and attack for six, but we have our boots, so we can move three. So one, two, three, great. Now let's use... There it is, okay. I want to put some more poison out. And we'll just, we'll go for something huge here. Okay, well, we'll go here, 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 and here. I'm going to use this to... attack there now this means I don't really want to kill you right now because I want to loot all of this so I think what I'm going to do instead is just take this for the experience and then um, farm this for a minute just skip because into the night for loot and then a uh, wretched creature we could even move up and curse and that sounds fun and then you don't have any way to loot did I get rid of that hmm I think I did is it so I press one hey there we go I think I did I might have got rid of did I get rid of it to bring in dig pit and it's fine let's move up with this one two three to pick up that loot and then I don't really know do that okay he's just gonna be healing himself now which in some way is okay because I'm I am trying to loot all this fun stuff here that's a whole lot of loot let's move over here and we'll curse you I guess I should probably try and heal you, shouldn't I? Instead of doing this stuff. Sorry. And sure, why not? So it is adjacent to him. I was wondering if it was adjacent to the target or to the trap or to him. Yeah, that's not very clear. Target all adjacent enemies. I mean, yeah, I guess that it might say target all enemies adjacent to the the bear trap, and that that might actually be a better thing. I'm not entirely sure if. I mean, I I could picture it either way. He's digging a trap. Uh, he's digging a hole, right? So he's muddling everybody with the dirt, 
but um, it seems that this is where he dug the hole, right? Where the bear trap is. So where that hole was dug is where everyone is muddled. I don't know. It's fine either way. All right, let's go for... Let's just go for as much... Ooh, okay, short rest. That's fine. Okay. We want yeah, we want to stun you. No more no more healing, please. And I guess I should have attacked first because of the poison. Okay. Yeah, now he's going to well he won't he'll heal one. Oh no, he won't heal it. Yeah, he won't heal at all because he was he was uh, stunned. Um, let's see here. Well, let's use this. Nope, clear. Let's use this. And then I will use this. Confirm. I'm sorry. I'm dealing some more damage to you. And I just want to jump over here. Skip the rest of the movement. We'll use this. Not very friendly way to just pick up some loot. <laughs> but uh, we made it. Victory. The Temple of the Ashes is silent again. You decide that it should stay that way and seal the entrance as you leave. We've inflicted poison probably a lot more than I needed to. The Mind Thief dealt a ton of damage. That's wonderful. That's great to see. Damage taken, 15 for the Mind Thief. Only 2 for the Cragheart. But all in all, really, uh, 17 total damage taken. Well, I, this was probably a lot of friendly, friendly, uh, friendly fire, friendly damage, uh, because the crag card at the end just dealt three more damage to her. So, but um, a whole bunch of experience. And where's the loot? There we go. So six plus three is nine times three. I think it was per stack. So twenty-seven loot. That's good. Bone Smasher, walk this way. And the crime is life. The sentence is death. And we picked up the Ring of Skulls, which is a great, uh, a great little trinket, I guess. Small item. Summon a skeleton that has three health, two movement, and two damage, or two melee damage. All right, well, I guess attack two. So I think you know who I'm going to put this on, the summoner. This plus the uh, staff that she's carrying will give her a way to summon two extra in one turn, two extra summons in one turn. And she has ways of, you know, beefing them up within that same turn. Um, the enhancement slot, this is just absolutely ridiculous at this point. I'm, <laughs> I think I have 10 enhancement slots. Even in the board game, you don't see stuff like that. So they're giving you too many enhancement slots at a time. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else they could have done it. Uh, I'm not complaining, but it's just, it's funny to see that I mean, most of my characters, they only have, um, like, two or three enhancements. And I know what I could do is micromanage all of that and remove all of it at the end of a scenario. And then use it as much money as possible for the next scenario. But I'm just, I'm not that crazy. Um, and if you do it, well, you're crazy. But uh, 
uh, kudos to you. Uh, six experience, which again is going to be useless because they're now retired. With Bandit Commander dead, the Temples of the Demon's Gate nests are now safe. Well, it's good to see the back of him. It's good to see the back of him. And that ring you got looks pretty useful. I don't understand what that's trying to say. So. Yeah, that'll do it, folks. The Gragheart. Here, how do I do this? There it goes. The crack heart is now reset. So back down to level one, the gold that came off was basically from the, uh, or the gold that we just got was from removing those enhancements from him or it. My apologies, crack heart, you're an it. Um, and now the same thing is going to happen for the Mind Thief. We'll reset the Mind Thief. You are now retired, my friend. That was fun. That was actually pretty fun to play as the Kragart and the Mind Thief. And I want to say I've, I've done this. I think this is the duo that I started with for my board game. When I played through the, um, through the board game campaign. I think this is what I started with, and it was totally random. I took a uh, I took a die, you know, one is this, two is this, three is this, and like a six sided die, and I rolled Cragheart and Mind Thief, and I thought this is gonna suck, and it was actually it was actually kind of fun, now that I'm remembering, uh, but I ended up bringing in the Scoundrel because two player was too easy. And three player seems like the right balance and four player is it takes a long time. And I think that the balance starts to go in favor of the enemies at four players. I could be wrong, but um, it could also be that at the end of a scenario, you're just getting tired from controlling four characters and all of those enemies. But I think honestly, Gloomhaven is a three player game at best. Um, or plays three players at best. Two players, it does seem a bit too easy. So, and I wanted to be able to, you know, bring in more characters at a, at a good pace. And three characters, or three player does that at a good pace. I unlocked it, I unlocked everybody. And um, I only brought in a fourth character once. And that was the angry face because of their abilities and it helped at the end. Um, it helped with some of the um, some of the boss fights that were near the end. And that's why I brought him in. So I felt like I needed that kind of character, and I'm I'm trying to be cryptic because I don't want to spoil anything yet. That spoiler is coming next. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Now their gear is up for, for grabs for everybody else, but the Cragheart and Mind Thief are done. We are also going to see that the Brute and the Scoundrel are done. So we're just down to the Tinkerer and the Spellweaver as our two, like, you know, starting six unlocked characters from the beginning. Whoops. And uh, they're soon to be they're soon to be done as well because they're both at level six. I think Spellweaver just needs to do where is it? Right down here. We need to do this one with her, and then she'll be done. And then we can go Tinker and Spellweaver for a uh, the the duo for the their boss fight. And I'm excited to see what that one was. Um, I think we got pretty lucky and uh, with the summoning of the uh, bandit can uh, commander, but the tactics were definitely there. I wanted to try and pin him into a, a, a bad place and I ended up pinning him twice in a row, which was really nice. Uh, that's, that's basically the 
a really good tactic for cultists or anybody that that summons honestly um yeah so anyway rant over conversation over i hope you enjoyed this episode you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment in the comment section below as always thanks for stopping by and hope to see you next time